Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, we're going to look at how we go about completing this drawing right here. This is the drawing of an engine part. We're going to be paying special attention to these two arcs. This one, this arc right here, is an internal tangential arc. And this one is an external tangential arc. All right. So we're going to be paying special attention to those two arcs. And we're going to be completing the entire drawing. All right, so we're going to start with these two circles over here. It says that the diameter for the smaller circle is 20 and the diameter for the large circle is 38. So with that now, we can go ahead and we can start our drawing. Okay, so let's do that. All right, let me just erase this. All right, so let me select a circle. So this is the small circle here. And for the small circle, the diameter is 20. So that means that the radius is 10. So we are going to divide this. Sorry, not divide. We're going to draw the circle with a radius of 10 millimeters, which means that the diameter is going to be 20. So that's our small circle, radius of 10, diameter of 20. And then the large circle has a radius of 38, which means that the diameter is going, sorry, a diameter of 38, which means that the radius is going to be 19, which is half of 38. Nice. So then now we can find the center of these two circles. And it says to find the center of these two circles here, we need to come across by 89. So right here it says 89. So from this point here to this point right here is 89. And then we go up by 32 to get the center of the circle. So across by 89 and then up by 32 so let's do that all right so let me just yep yeah. all right so then we go across by 89 entry up ortho turned on ortho is this right angle thing right here and then go up by 32 nice so now we've found the point for the next two circles and it says here that the diameter for the small circle is 38 and the diameter for the large circle is 58. Alright, so let's draw those two circles. Okay, so if the diameter for this is 38, that means that the radius is going to be 19. Alright, let me just select here. Yeah. Alright, so that means that this is going to be 19. Okay, and then for the large circle, this radius here is going to be 29 because the, yeah, the diameter is 58. So that means that the radius is going to be 29. So let's draw that 29. Lovely. All right. So with that, no. We are going to draw our arcs and it says over here all right it says over here that we have this internal arc here and the radius of this arc is 32 so to get the point from where we're going to draw this arc this is what we're going to do we're going to add the radius for the circles all right we're going to add the radius to the radius of the circle to the radius of the arc so for the smaller circles over to the left, these circles here, so it's going to join, the arc is going to join this circle here. And that circle has a radius of 19. So we're going to add 19 to 32. And when we add 19 to 32, we get 51. So let me draw a circle here with a radius of 51. There we go. Now, over here, this circle has a radius of 29, all right? And the arc is to be ter um, 32. So we're going to add 29 plus 32, and that is going to give us 61, okay? So we're going to draw an, a, a, a circle with a radius of 61 millimeters, okay? So where those two circles meet each other, that is where we're going to draw our arc from okay so let's draw our arc and our arc is supposed to be 32 
millimeters and it should touch both circles perfectly so let's see so this should be 32 and there it is perfect so now we just need to do some trimming so let me just trim this um tr enter enter is the trim shortcut or you can select trim over here okay all right so let me trim this part of the circle there and trim that part and then i can delete this part here okay now these two here are construction these, these circles are like they're just a part of the construction but not part of the actual finished thing or the actual finished drawing if you are doing this like as classwork or, or a unit test or an exam or something like that you would want to keep the construction line so that if your teachers can see um you know how you went about getting the drawing but for the sake of explaining and so that i don't have too many circles or too many lines i am going to delete these circles but you would not delete these circles if uh, you were doing this for like an exam or a classwork or homework or something like that okay so let me just delete these all right lovely now we need to get the external um arc which is this one right over here okay and this one here has a radius of 108 millimeters okay so now to get the internal arc what we did was to add the radius to the radius of the circle to the radius of the arc now for the external one we're going to subtract the radius of the circle all right from the radius of the arc and then we're going to find the sensor for the arc so let's do that so for this circle it has a radius of 19 all right so we are going to sub subtract 19 from 108 all right so that would be 108 uh, minus 19 and that would give us 89 so we're going to draw a circle of 89 so 89 is the radius for that circle and then uh, for the next circle the next circle has a radius of 29 so we're going to subtract 29 from 108 and of course that gives us 79 so from the center here we're going to draw a circle of 79 lovely but where these two circles meet now we're going to draw the arc that has a radius of 108 millimeters all right and we, we could just use a circle let me select a circle and where the two um the center of both circles meet sorry not the center of the circles but where both circles meet that's the center of our arc right at that intersection and we're going to draw this with a radius of 108 millimeters and it should touch both circles perfectly there we go so now we just need to do some trimming so let me trim tr enter enter uh trim there trim here and then now we can delete this and there we have our aging part so let me just um delete these what i should have done was to do the construction lines in a different layer so i could freeze the layers so let me just delete these so that you can see the drawing completely and there we go and just like that you have your engine part so just remember for um internal tangential arcs you are going to you would add the radius of your circle to the radius of the arc like right here where we add 19 to 32 and for external tangential arcs you would subtract the radius of your circle from the radius of the arc like we did when we subtracted 19 from the 108 okay so that is how you go about completing this drawing of an engine part i hope you found this video helpful if you did please drop a like and uh, you can comment you can comment in the comment section below and let me know what other videos you would like me to do all right so thank you for watching and do have yourselves a wonderful day